What is up, guys? Biggie Forty Nine here. We are back on the Desolation map. And if you guys remember correctly, yesterday we kind of put the finishing touches on the interior of this black skyscraper, which still has no name. Yes, that's right. We've completely interiorized it. This is the second skyscraper that is fully furnished on this Desolation map. It's the second of many, guys. Every single skyscraper on this map will be fully furnished. And, uh... It's time to get to work on finishing this guy up. This one's pretty much done over here, so now it's time to work on this guy. So, if you guys remember me talking about it yesterday, there is really no solid backstory to this second skyscraper here. Uh, and that's what I want to work on today. I want to work on backstory and figure out what the inhabitants of this skyscraper did in the first moments of Armageddon, which will give us a clue on how we want to build this thing, how we want to set this thing up. So. First of all, let's show you where the entrance is. Oh, I hate doing this, I really do, because I want you guys to have to find it. But, you know, you guys are subscribers and, and friends and viewers, so I'm going to give you the low down dirty. This is going to be an alleyway, of course we're going to rough it up a lot. This is going to be a dirty alleyway, guys. I mean, not too dirty, because there is an entrance to a, an apartment complex here, but it'll be pretty dingy. We'll put some dumpsters and some homeless stuff. Okay, but here's the entrance. And you're going to come in here. And I'm not sure how I want to handle this. I think what I want to do is make this probably exploded. Okay, this is not you're not gonna be able to just walk in, and I'll talk about that in a second. So you're gonna come up here, super dark, super scary, very creepy. You notice that there's a lot of stuff on the ground, a lot of dirt. You know, so people have been trampling in here. And then you're gonna come in here, and this is going to be the you know sort of like the lobby game area. And you notice dead bodies. Oh no, dead bodies. So this is the game area. You got they got ping pong. They've got pool. They've got all sorts of things. There's nothing in there. And uh, yeah, of course I've shown all this before on camera. They got the workout room, the gym, or <laughs> the gym. You can tell I don't spend a lot of time in these places with the little treadmills. I think it looks nice for a treadmill. Anyway, what I want to focus on is the backstory don't get sidetracked the backstory is I think the inhabitants of this apartment complex just like the other people in Coveton just like everyone else they're kinda covetous you see what I did there huh huh Look covetous and so in the first few moments of Armageddon when the monsters started you know roaming the streets rather than try to leave this place they wanted to stay by their stuff Okay, they wanted to stick near their their jewelry, near their couches, near their TVs, near their appliances and their expensive clothing. They didn't want to leave it, right? So they didn't want to leave the city. Rather than abandon all the stuff they worked their whole lives to collect, rather than abandon it, they chose to stay here and maybe defend it. So what I'm going to do is, you saw the entrance before, below down there? What I'm going to do is have it sealed off, and then someone blew it up, okay? So imagine the first moments of Armageddon. All the residents of this apartment complex, they come downstairs, and they're going to put a bunch of furniture and boxes and all sorts of different things in front of this door here. So let's do it. Let's just do it. Uh, that's what we're here for, right? So they're going to have a lot of furniture. Okay, so this is furniture. Yeah, there we go. I like to use these as furniture. You know, it gets the point across, all right? Let's get rid of this carpet. Okay, so. Get rid of that. Yeah, furniture. We're gonna, we're gonna close this place off with a bunch of stuff in the way. And it's just stuff to, you know, barricade the door. They did a door barricade, essentially. Yeah, we can have some of these. Right? Hello everybody, Wiscom's here. We got a bunch of people in the game. All right, cool. The, the usual suspects. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else we got here over here. There we go. Okay, so they barricaded this door. That's what I'm doing, furniture-wise. There we go. There we go. Okay, it's all barricaded, right? Now this is the technique that I like to do a lot, guys. It makes it feel real. It makes it feel really real. So, okay, there we go. So now I need to get out of here. Let's just teleport somewhere. Let's see. Solid should be close. No, not solid. He's probably in his skyscraper. No, I don't want to teleport here. <laughs> don't want to teleport there. 
Where is this guy? Oh, he's at the movie the Oh, great. So I gotta go far. I gotta go all the way across the map. But okay, it's alright. We'll live. We'll live. So the reason I'm teleporting to him is I want to go outside and pretend like I'm one of the marauders. I'm one of the looters or scavengers. And I'm trying to break into this place. And I see this door. And I see it's all barricaded off. And I got a little something something for him. You know what I'm saying? I got a little something something. Full damn. So I'm going to take... Oh, I should have teleported that guy. <laughs> so I'm going to take my little TNT. Right? My little TNT. Which is there. And my little torch. So I got a TNT, right? And I want to break into this place. So here we go. Fire in the hole. Big leg. <laughs> One TNT can no longer explode. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go. Alright, that didn't do the job, so he's got another TNT! <laughs> That'll do the job. That'll get her done. Surely. Look at the lag on this. This is one TNT 4J Studios added to the list! That still didn't do the job, huh? Muy interesante. Um, what can we do? I definitely want to make it look like there's a crater here. So we'll add one more. Uh, I think what we'll do is make a little crater. Yeah. Why not? I mean, why not? Just to show off the TNT. Just to get the point across that yes, these people tried to barricade themselves in. No, it didn't work. Yes, there was an explosion. And yes, everyone inside is probably dead now. So let's do this. Um, basically, let's go down like this. So I, I bedrock everything, guys. In case you don't know, this is for, the bedrock is for this exact reason. It's to make sure that when people use TNT, they cannot get to this underworld, which causes massive lag. Okay, massive lag, like you wouldn't believe. At least that's what we think. There's a lot of theories surrounding the lag issues on this map. Uh, no answers, but plenty of theories. So everyone's got a, a reason why this map lags the way it does. But I don't know which one is true. I just don't know. So what I like to do is this. All right, so a little crater there, and then I put two levels because then I like to do this. I like to do this. I like to put some dirt in here just to show that there's some... Uh oh. That can't, that's got to Here. I got it. I got it. Don't you worry. There we go. There we go. Okay. So. A little crater shows an explosion. Okay. No, I want it down there. Come on. Oh, man. Aw, oh, man! <laughs> There's just no rest for the weary. Uh, part of the problem also I'm having is, you know, I got a lot of misclicks because of the lag situation. I get a lot of misclicks, guys. Just the lag is, you know, it's hard to put your cursor where you want it because of, of the slowdown and you know there's a lot of people in the game but there's only five people if only one day we could have some form of peer-to-peer -peer networking turned into dedicated servers oh wouldn't that be the day there'd be there'd be celebrations in the streets we'd be it would be a massive party if one day Microsoft on Xbox gave us Minecraft with dedicated servers okay anyway and then let's uh, add a little bit of debris, some, you know, some remnants of the furniture that we just blew up. And also, maybe a door. There was a door here, so maybe a door. Just to show that, you know, things got crazy around here. <laughs> things got a little bit of nuts. A little bit nuts. Okay. There we go. Alright, so there's an explosion. Boom. Knocked that off too. <laughs> just for good measure. And that. Yeah. Okay, there's our explosion. Alright, so... The people of this apartment complex locked themselves away, but the, the marauders got in. And let's just say that uh, the people who were hiding in here didn't do so well because they didn't have really any weapons, okay? So maybe a few of them tried to fight them off right there and there in the lobby. And uh, basically what I'll do is I'll go through every apartment and put a bunch of dead bodies. A bunch of dead bodies. So that's what we'll do for that. Uh, another thing I wanted to do was, we got two elevator shafts. We got one here, and that goes all the way to the top. You can see that, uh, you can see where it goes, each floor. All right, so that's an elevator shaft. We got one on this side. I know it's dark, but I want to give you the real feel, guys. Giving you the real de desolation feel. We got another elevator shaft here. 
And then running in between them is this stairwell. And this stairwell opens up on like every other floor. Does that make sense? So it skips a floor, then opens up. Skips a floor, then opens up. Okay, it's weird. I know, it's weird. But uh, it's the best way to do it. So basically, this place is kind of like a maze. Every single apartment has two entrances. We got one here. And one here. As you can see, there's no stairs on this side, but there's a, an elevator shaft on each side. So this is pretty complicated. It's like a maze. It's amazing, guys. It's an amazing maze. And I want to further compound that issue by blocking off stair the stairwell in several places and forcing you to take the elevator shaft. Now you're saying, well, how do I take an elevator shaft up? Well, I'll tell you there's going to be parkour, okay? So let's start at the bottom. I'm not going to do it all today, but I want to give you guys the gist of it, the gist of what's going on here. So let's say, let's just say that. Okay, this is going to take a while. Where's the bottom floor? We want to go to the bottom. I should have taken the elevator shaft. Should have taken the elevator. Okay. <laughs> I need the exercise. Okay, so let's say you want to take the stairs. And so you come up here. It's all clear. It's all clear. And this takes you to level two, I believe. This is floor two. Let me make sure. Yeah, that's floor two. Okay, so that's in the clear. Now, if you want to take this elevator sh or this this stairwell again, this should take you. Okay, this one takes you to floor three. Okay, so I think at floor three, right about here, we're gonna have them block off the stairwell. So the residents of floor three and above, they took their furniture, they brought it over here. Can I fly, please? And they blocked off the stairwell. Okay. Now, what does this mean for you guys, for the players of Desolation? This means you're going to have to find an alternate route. Let's not do that. You're going to have to find an alternate route. And I'm not going to tell you exactly what those routes are. I'm just going to tell you one of them. And one of them is going to be parkour in the elevator shaft. There might be multiple routes. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I'm just the map creator. What do I know? Uh, I'm not giving away all the secrets guys because that would be ridiculous, okay? I gotta save something for the players, which is you, to one day. I mean this map is about exploring and, and finding new stuff and, you know, exploring basically. So I'm not gonna give away everything, not all the secrets. But let's just say, let's just say that there's more to this apartment complex than meets the eye. That's a Transformers joke. Okay, so over here you can't get through. Yeah, you cannot. That's cool. That's cool. Maybe a little incentive. Of course, there's ways around it. I'm not going to say what the ways are. But, you know, you could get through this if you really wanted to. But the real thing for you to be doing is doing parkour here. So let's start with the parkour. I'm just going to give you a sense of it. And then we're going to end this video because it's gone on pretty long enough. But this is how... You're going to have to get up to the next floor. So, the higher you get in this apartment complex, the more likely you are to find something nice. Because it was harder for the marauders, right? So maybe the people at the top, they maybe they just died of starvation. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I'm not going to give you all the story, guys. You guys expect too much of me, okay? Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Okay, and then from here, where do you go? <laughs> and then from here... Oh man, this is crazy. Alright, can you make that? Oh, this is crazy. Who's gonna be nuts enough to do this? That's instant death right there. So, I gotta make that easier. Hmm. Maybe, maybe go down one? Okay. I don't wanna make it impossible too hard, but I do wanna pro Oh goodness, I didn't even jump. I do wanna protect the secrets of this apartment, okay? So, the way I protect stuff is a lot of parkour, a lot of puzzle solving. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, you know stuff uh, stuff like this. Ooh, so scary. Now, I don't want to block off that. We got to still make sure that's... Okay. Uh, wait a second. Alright, I think we're still good. Oh, man, this is going to be nuts. I can do it, though. If I can do it, you can do it. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Okay, so far, so good. And then up... And then this one... Oh, that's gonna be tough! Oh my god, it's oh, so hard! Uh, the main thing is, though, I don't want to block off other jumps. So, is this still possible with that in the way? Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay, so guys, you get the idea. This is gonna go up to here. I'm just gonna keep doing that around and around and around. So, I think that's gonna be the episode today. You guys get the gist of it. I got a lot of parkour work to do. It's gonna be cool, though. 
This apartment is going to be deadly. But I guarantee you guys, every single time in Desolation, when you see something that's really hard to get to, guess what? It'll be worth it in the end. But not every time. Not every time. We can't have it every time. Then it gets to be too predictable. Did I accidentally blow this up in the explosion? Why is this all broken? Oh, uh, weird. Okay, anyway. I'm going to work on this off screen. And uh, maybe not by the next time you guys are in here, there'll be a nice parkour challenge. Oh, baby. I can't wait. It's time to think of a name, guys. Remember, these people are covetous. They didn't want to leave the city. They... they their window to leave the city came and went and they decided to stay with their stuff so think of that when you think of names and try to think of a cool name for this place I'll try to think of a name for this place as well and maybe we could come up with a really cool name for this black skyscraper Covet Covetin I don't know I'll think about it I'll think about it but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this leave a like if you did I really appreciate all your likes and all your comments so happy minecrafting thanks for watching peace